When was Yomiel's death? It was 10 years ago when the Temzik meteorite fell. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. It's ready! Hold it! Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Eek! Now, just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Are you okay? You're all right now. Are you hurt? Y you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods. They're the ones that saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's the Temzek meteorite, eh? It's beautiful looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temzek from falling from the sky, but we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jowd? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't get him... I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. We might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate, and beyond that will be a new future! Okay, let's get started. Hello guys, and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about play games, and today we're going to be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and learned a bit more about Yomiel, the man in red, and we learned about all of the different pain and struggles he went through, and in this episode, we've traveled 10 years back in the past to try and stop everything that's happened in this game before uh, from happening. So, without further ado, sit back and relax, because this is the finale to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Now, how are we going to save you? If Lynn would just wander off somewhere, that would solve everything. When her sweet, sweet potato is almost ready, ha! Huh, she's not going to budge from that spot. But you know, it makes me wonder. A little girl alone, alone in the park, listening to music and roasting a sweet potato? What kind of childhood did this girl have? Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break! Anyway, if Lynn won't budge from that spot, then we'll just have to f have the fragment move instead. Sounds a bit difficult, but it's very true. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can't reach Lynn right now. Just gonna have to wait for time to pass. It's ready! Hold it! Eek! Now, 
we can get on over here. What are you doing? You're going to hurt Miss poor Miss Lynn's ears. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. So yeah, already we've got a fate change. Now this little thing, this little sweet potato right over here is going to allow us to move right over to the side here. I think, yeah, that's missile over there in the basket. I don't know how he got there, but you know what? We're not going to think about it. Uh, we're going to have missile, or sissel, excuse me, move over here and rock the basket. Which will put that little, I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, okay, it's just a normal sweet potato into the water. Let me go ahead and have missile... Move over to the left, or right, excuse me. I don't know why I got that mixed up. Uh, and then... We'll move the sweet potato over here. Actually, let's have Missile go ahead and attach to the sweet potato. Then we're gonna have Sissel. Can he move over there? Actually, you know what? Uh, Missile, stay back here. Sissel, attached to the sweet potato. Now you're gonna move down there, and Missile, since you have a longer range... Well, now you can go ahead and attach to it. And then Sissel will spray this. Oh, look at that! Look at that sweet potato! That big, scary sweet potato! That's not a sweet potato, Missile. That's Mino. Oh, oh, right, of course! But look at them! The Potato and Mino! Right now, they both have the same shape! So you're saying we could swap them, huh? Good idea, Missile. Oh, right, here I go, and I'm going to need your help. My help. So, indeed, let's have Missile swap these two. There we go. And now we're gonna swap the, the large Mino with the smaller, like... I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll swap those two. And so... Oh look, the lamppost is bending. But it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It just might hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Temzik fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in its way, then fate should change. Alrighty. So now, I think things should be good if we just sit back and wait. I think we'll be okay. It's about time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry, Missile. I think we're ready for it. Look what's right in the path the fragment's path. Oh, okay, that giant sweet potato. If anything can get in the way, that ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway, now the fragment's path ought to change. There, how's that? Look, the fragment's course. It changed a little. Now Yomido's fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? In its path? N no! Ugh. Detective Jowd! The Demzik fragment shot through his leg! What? But the cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Mm. Come on, put it down. Huh? Drowd, put the gun down, now! If you don't, you're going to shoot him! I don't know if this, if it's his detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! No! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! M missile! The bullet is stopped in midair. 
I'm here inside the bullet. Now let's swap it with something. What? With what? Detective Jowd, the meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. Oh no. We stopped the bullet, but we still couldn't save him. Mm, that's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. Okay, so your fate of death has changed, but still. This fate is just too painful to watch, in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still slowly turning. Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Damn it! My leg won't work! It's all over! We're out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not over yet, but there isn't anything else to swap with! Why don't we just let it play out and then try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse. Then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that! Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain like a scar on her psyche. I won't let this happen. Not if I can help it. But what do we do now? Even if we work together... I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Cicel and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death. Y Yomiel! Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. Alright, I'll try to move there. Now gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it all you got. And remember, you'll only have a split second. Okay, do it now! Got it! Now's your turn, missile. Huh? What? Me? But what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it! You can swap them! That hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But... Even if I swap them, it'll still be right above Miss Lynn. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. It's no use. We can't stop that horrible Mino. What can we do now? I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. W wait a minute, you mean... That's right. I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Ye gods. Ah, oh, you're awake. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Huh? Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit, but the main thing is that you're not hurt. 
You saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. Th the gods. They're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. But, but... What's that? It, this is a detective's badge. We give them to children who've been very brave. A detective's badge? Thanks! Okay. You know what to do, little detective. Are you alive? Yeah. Sadly. Hang on. Help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as, it was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see. But, you know, I'm glad it happened. Hey, mister? I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. That's funny. It doesn't look like it's injured or anything. Poor little kitty. How about if I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Well, it looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. These long, lonely ten years, you were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Old friend. I think... I think I finally remember. Ten years ago I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Hold it. Eek! Somebody please look at me. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Somebody, please reach a hand out to me. I had just only died at the time. I had lost everything. My life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I still managed to reach out a hand to him. The next thing I knew, my soul had transferred into the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat with you, with you for a while. After a while, the man regained his memory. I went back to being just a cat, and then the man got his body back. I 
I took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I am coming to you, Yomiel. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness, with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then after a while I could manipulate people. And that's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted artificial light. When I got my revenge on Lin, I would see that light, or at least that's what I tried to believe. I left my old self buried in the junkyard and walked away. The Black Cat. I was possessing Sissel then. It wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside that bag, was dead. What? I wasn't able to control her completely. The first bullet didn't hit anything. Or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel inside that bag. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temzic radiation. And that's when I got my powers of the dead. My ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why was why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back? It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lin tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't. Even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things, from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things you can do that I can't. You mean, 
I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that, but I never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. But, but you're here ten years in the past now. And that's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering the fate. The fate of your death. The kitten Sissel's fate. And I can just bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, huh? So, Yomil, it looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes, and I'm glad too. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these ten years. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. I knew ten years later was just born. Right. We should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again. So these past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way this game of the dead works, eh? No matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that, either. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sissel. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It'll be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yomiel? Thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yomiel. Sissel, are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missel. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll... I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jowd. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now we're each going back to our new present. We said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. Wait! Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray. In case you have forgotten again. Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. I am really grateful to you, Cecil. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know, who exactly are you? Fair enough. I will tell you. 
Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. You changed the fates of many people tonight, the first of which was hers. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely, lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. After they strolled her life that night, they broke into her apartment. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left, and in the process... Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw towards his mistress, and that's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that. The powers of the dead. But how? He didn't really understand himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. That's right. That's right. He died inside the aura of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There were what just wasn't anything he could do with the only power to swap with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then, he went back, he went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. What? He decided to wait it out, he decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these ten years to be retold. So that was you, huh? That's right. I'm Missile. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own. So you decided to wait those ten years out. Exactly. And then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time, I had grown old, and my powers were weak. So I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second, you were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened, but I became able to manipulate small objects. But, but in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could. Like travel through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. 
especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before on that night the first time around. We what? We met before? From listening to the conversation of the two intruders into the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost a life at the junkyard on the edge of town. I followed the ghost world path to the junkyard and came up upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my first stand on end, I can tell you. That was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time, too. You had just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And then you disappeared. Away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That is why I decided that, this time, I would use the desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path that by doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red to Yomiel. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. Then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have been all over. Then you mean that thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that... Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. But I just wanted to just use your time wisely. Oh boy. I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. And now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile. I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited and waited these ten long years. All for the sake of you two, of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course. Besides, that's what doggies do. Now then, farewell, Cecil. And so the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what had really happened in this town tonight. I made my way back. Back to a new present. Huh? How come it's so dark? I'll just turn on the lights here. <laughs> Were you surprised? You bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. Yippee, it worked! But it's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made the surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. 
That's alright, Lin. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, correct? Really? Thank you, Detective Jowd. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges too. Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. <laughs> How long are you going to keep wearing that toy badge, Lin? What's wrong with it? To me, this is a symbol of a real detective. It's been ten years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that distant destiny will lead me. <laughs> that you will. That you will. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're the same little kitten. That's right. The very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's ten years old, but he's still a kitten. Still a kitten. Yep, he never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel. Hmm, seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lin. Alright, everyone. Let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom. I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow, too. And so we meet again, Sissel. From just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected, somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now this is my new fate. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. And that was Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Gosh, what an amazing game. Oh, there's just so much I love about it. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn. Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthday's out for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. I just... There's so much that I love about this game that I couldn't be able to fit into one video, even. And so, yeah, there's not much I can say. This game is like Ace Attorney because, you know, of course, it was directed by Shu Takami. But also, the end credits have us talking to a bunch of different characters. Uh, so I'll just do what I did with my Ace Attorney Let's Play and just read through this and then put my thoughts at the end. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? But definitely not good. Maybe now I could be a great detective just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example is this inspector providing for his men? So we get to see all of these different people and how their lives have been affected over the past 10 years and seeing how their lives changed slightly. 
We also get to see characters interact with characters we've never seen before. Here's your food, gentlemen. It's going to be a bit of a challenge for me to remember all these voices. Memory, what are you doing here? I heard you were going to be picking new members for the special investigation unit today. So you took on a part-time job here again just so you could eavesdrop. I remember I gave him the... Oh, you have no idea the lengths I go to to reach my goals. Yeah, I remember I gave that guy the uh, voice that I would give the uh, Justice Minister, and I think the voice fit the Justice Minister a lot better. <clears throat> la la la, I've never cut this way before, so exotic, so exciting. To make coriander, cumin, and fring ready to eat. I forgot to read it. Is it really necessary, this new curry chicken menu item? Oh, but a very best customer requested it. Now good luck with the testing. Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer anyway? Gosh, and of course, with 10 years being rewritten, all of those prisoners that we saw before got to actually live out proper lives instead of spending a decade locked up in a secret prison somewhere. Are you sure we really need all these explosives? Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute, 20 kilograms? I thought it was just 20 grams. So they're probably dead. <laughs> but gosh, this is just such a special game, and it's definitely in my top three video games of, of all time. Uh, I used to not really be able to know what my favorite games of all time were, uh, here, I'll go ahead. So this is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all you could give me? You must have heard some juicy stories. The indiscretions of a minister, perhaps? Now, now, must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? Here's to the stragy mind of my darling, darling husband. <laughs> But yeah, I used to not be able to know like what's in my top five games of all time or like top three in this case, but this game and two other games that I love are so special that I know they're definitely in my top three. This deal is going quite well. Oh, I must say, these grips are taste good, my man. The you know is about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be hey, God! Keep it together, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I believe I nearly died of fright just now. Love, peace, and pigeons. Long live rock and roll. Stop the park from charging admission. Protect the rights of those who live here. But yeah, uh, please, if you are interested in this game at all, or if you just want to support it, buy the remake that's coming out this June. Because this is just such a good game. Today's the day, you know. He's finally getting out. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. But let me show you a new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. 
We do this when we have a stomach ache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. Oh, I'm real interested in that one. Thank you for show it to me, say, next week. You got it! But yeah, this game just has everything that I enjoyed from other games written by Shu Takumi, which is interesting character, interesting, memorable, funny, witty characters, beautiful music, amazing artwork, and a gripping story that keeps you to the very end. But you know what, I'll save all of my thoughts till the very end, because I don't know if I could fit it into these small chunks between different sections here. I think this is the last of the final bits of credits here, so until we get to the uh, post credit scene at least, which there is one of course. Seems like there's always stuff like that these days. Can't believe this game is 13 years old, because I do believe this game came out in 2010. I forget exactly what day it came out, but, uh, yeah. Ten long years, yo meal. Your time's up today. The young lady who always comes to visit you is waiting outside. Thank you, Sissel.